Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode from Stud Tech. And in this episode, we're going to be heading back to the Victorian Mansion Project. Hello, Creeper. Don't blow up. There we go. We're going to be heading back to our Victorian house project right here. And we're going to be putting in the second floor and maybe these... What is with all these Creepers? They're everywhere. If they blow up my stuff, I'm going to be very disappointed. Anyway, we're going to be putting in the second story floor. We'll be putting in a spiral staircase right here, I think. And we're going to be probably raising this birch up a level as well. So let's do the spiral staircase first. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some spruce logs and then some palm wood. Let's make the palm wood into some slabs. I think that will be enough. And then we'll come over here and right in the middle, we'll just run some spruce wood straight up like this. And I think that's a good start. Then what we'll do is we'll take some of these palm wood slabs and I think the staircase is going to go kind of right about here. And what I want to do with this is kind of form a, I guess like a shape that comes up until it gets to the ground or gets to this upper level. But I don't think that's going to work as I had originally thought. Hmm. You know what? I also really, really need an axe. An actual axe. Not a, uh, not some sort of wannabe lumber axe. I need something that's a little bit more precise. So let's just make ourselves a diamond axe real quick. There we go. And then we can worry about taking out these slabs a little bit easier. Maybe it would be better to start at the top now that I'm thinking about this and kind of work our way down. That might work out better. Hmm. Yeah, why don't we try that? So let's grab these. Let's swing over here and grab a stack of dirt just to use for scaffolding. And we'll grab that. And I'm just going to come up right about here or so. Now, let's see. I think I want my actual floor level. Let's look at this. We've got our windows here. Okay, I think this is where I want the actual floor to go. Yeah. Yep, that's what I want. Okay. So we've got that all sorted out. In fact, hmm, or do I want my floor to go here? Let's put the floor right here. I think this will work better. So what we'll do is we'll form kind of a little thing here. And then we'll start kind of working our way down as we go. And we're basically just going to be forming... I guess they're pretty much just triangles. Uh, let's see. They're here. Oop, not that one. Let's get that picked back up. There we go. And then we'll go here, here, here. Here, here, and there. Just kind of something along these lines is what I'm thinking will work best. Now we need to make sure that when we do this, you can still get up the stairs. That's obviously quite important. So maybe we'll put that one there and then here. 
We'll bring this part down a little bit. Like that. And then right... Hmm. Problem. There we go. Is that going to be... I hope that's actually climbable. Let's make sure that it is. It is. Okay. So you can actually get up those stairs. Let's take our shovel and clear away all of this dirt. Actually, it's probably faster to just use the excavator. That's what I have it for, after all. There we go. Let's take a look at that from over here. Hmm. So you can come up the stairs. And then this is the top floor right here. And then we can go something like that. It's a little bit of a tight squeeze, but I think it'll do the trick. I think it'll work. And then this will be our actual top floor. So you've just got our nice little spiral staircase going around. And we could probably even take this like that. That might work a little bit better. Yeah, I think that'll do. I think that'll do. Now, it's not going to look amazing from the outside because it has it, the basically it has to go in front of the windows. There's no way around that. But I think we can I think we can make do and I think that'll be okay just for the purposes of this build. Now, the next thing that I want to do is I want to get the floor put in and I want to get the uh where's my shovel? And I want to get this raised up a bit as well. Now, I recently got Mrs. Wells, or more specifically, the Mrs. Wells Knight Minecraft account, whitelisted on Stud Tech to use as a camera account. So we're going to do a little time lapse, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. back and I hope you enjoyed that little time lapse that is the first time lapse uh, done with a camera account that I think I've ever done now that I think about it but what we're gonna do here is we're gonna kind of clean this up a little bit if we can I think that would be wise let's come downstairs first and I think what we want to do is make kind of an entrance way right here. I'm not liking the fact that those are asymmetrical. Hmm. So I think what we need to figure out, let's see. So this is our three. This would be one, one, two, three. That would be the center. Okay. Of the circle. So 
if we put these up like this, this is our entrance way. We could take these out and then fill in those. There we go. And now we've got ourselves a nice little entrance way that comes all the way up to here. Now, we can even do the same on this side. Like so. I'm gonna leave that top one alone just for the moment. That very top layer, because that's gonna be another ceiling, I think. So we've got our three tall there. We've got our second floor in, which needs some lighting. Don't want creepers and things spawning up here. That would be a terrible thing. There we go. That looks pretty good. And I'm just going to put that right there for the moment. Just for a little bit of extra light. And I guess we'll put another one right here. And actually, that one's probably okay. Okay. So, we've got some good stuff going. Scar and Stutter on the server right now, so I don't know if I'll be able to sleep right away. But this is looking pretty good. Now, we've got a second floor on here, but it still needs windows. And we need to work out a window design, too. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I think we might have to hold off on that for the moment. Let's try and take a nap. We'll see if maybe Scar and Stud are willing to sleep as well. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of work done on the factory too in this episode. We might as well. So let me get some stuff together and I will be right back with you. All right, guys, we are back. And look at that tree farm doing work. Although it's, uh, it's a little bit behind right now because this sludge tank is not doing so hot. So why don't we go grab ourselves our pickaxe. Here we go. Do I hear... I hear a skeleton. Whatever. Ooh! Oh, I see you. You think you can hide in my tree farm? You think you can hide in my tree farm? Unbelievable. But what we'll do is we'll take that tank... And we'll put that there. Look at this thing go as soon as this starts filling up. Look at that puppy go. Now it's doing some work. It's going to chew through these trees very, very quickly. Look at that. I love it. I love it. It's brilliant. This is a huge tree. Oh, this is two Mega Taiga trees right next to each other. Three of them? Wow. Building this was a brilliant idea. Anyway, so we'll take our filled tank, the one that's full of sludge, and we'll put it in the wrong spot. I meant to put it right there we go. And then we'll take our crescent hammer, turn that on, and start making some of these lovely blocks. This is working pretty well, too. We're getting our clay, we're getting our sand, some of that kind of stuff. I think I'm going to take some of the sand and... Uh, throw it into this redstone furnace to make some glass. We've got plenty of resources there. I think we're doing pretty well. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a magma crucible. We're going to need that for the factory. So the first thing we're going to need is this leadstone energy frame. And we should have enough for that right here. There we go. So we've got that. Now... Somewhere, I thought I had nether brick blocks, but I don't think I do. I, now that I'm looking at it, I'm not seeing them, so we'll just make two of them right here. In fact, I'm almost tempted. Let's go ahead and make two magma crucibles right away. I think that would be wise. It's not like I am lacking the resources for it. So let's go... Actually, or even three, even three. Let's make three of them. Because then we can have one for Enderium, 
one for redstone, and one for anything else that we need to smelt down. So we're good there. Now we need six of these, which we now have. So we're good on that on that count. What else do we need? Two Invar gears for each. So let's see. Invar. Do I have any Invar? Hmm. I might not. I've got plenty of iron. Unless I put it in here. Ooh, I'm thinking... I'm thinking I might just be out of Invar, guys. I might have to go ahead and make some more. So tell you what. If you don't know how to make Invar, it's not super hard. You basically just smelt up Ferrosaur and iron. So we'll make some Invar right over here. And it is... I believe two blocks of iron for every one ferrous ore. That should give us some ferrous ingots. Now we're also going to need some machine frames so we can work on those while we're waiting. And tin, tin is something that we have plenty of. Let's see, here we go. So what do we need for each of those? One tin gear. And we're going to need three, right? Because we're making three of these magma crucibles. There we go. So we got our three tin gears. Oh, no. What am I doing? There we go. Glass we've got. Iron we've got. Okay, we should be good. Oh. And... That should make three of these, right? Yes. Beautiful. Wait, two. Why did it only make two? Oh, I'm missing an iron ingot. Okay. How did I run out of iron ingots? That's... I had a ton of them, I thought. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so we've got our... We have our machine frames. We need some energy coils. That's easy enough. I'll need three of those. So we'll just go like that. And you know what? We are uh, running a little low on space at the moment. So I'm going to put some of this stuff away. And I suppose we can put the nether brick. Oh, no, that I need. That I'll need. Hmm. Okay. Let's see if this is done smelting yet. Yep, we've got plenty of invar now. So we're just going to turn that into blocks to make it easy to get to. All right, we've got this, we've got this. All right, we have everything except for the Invar, and that's going to be done in just a moment. So we're almost ready, almost ready with this Magma Crucible. Very, very close. We just need some of this and a few of these. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. We need to make six of these. Ooh. I hope I have... Did I run out of Invar? No, I didn't. Hmm, okay. So let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, just kidding. I need six, what am I doing? There we go. So we've got our six ingots. We've got our magma crucible. Materials all ready to go. Just got to put them in there. And there we go. We now have ourselves three magma crucibles. And we can make use of those in the next episode. Because guys, we are out of time for this one. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I really do appreciate it. And it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below. So check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time. That kind of looks like a palm tree, I think. Maybe fill in some of this a little bit, just to just to kind of give it a little bit of extra. And eh, that I don't like. Yeah, let's stick with that. That'll work. So we got our little palm tree right there. We could maybe.